Well, it, it, it was a complete entertainment. And people were making documentaries like, you know, Harlan County, USA, eventually came in. It was the early 70s. What, 1971 or something like that? Yeah. And, you know, and there was social consciousness of, like crazy, of course. You know, because you're talking about Harvard. It was Harvard Square. I mean, we were, you know, it was, might as well call it Red Square. <laughs> But it was wonderful because it was, you know, everybody was loving everybody else. And it was 1971 and people went to the movies to uh, to to goof and be and just be uh, entertained and and entertained in a completely different way than they had been before. But being being um, having another relationship to the film besides just the fact that you happened to go to the movies that day. But you you really want to get involved with this film and have it be the only thing you're thinking about, not five other things and looking at your phone. That's all. <laughs> you know? It's focus, and it, it's focus mainly. And if you focus, once you're focused, the director has you, and you're in an altered state. You can make use of that altered state by to raise your consciousness or to let yourself know that you're doing something really wrong. Or you see somebody on screen doing the same thing you're doing and you say, oh my God, am I doing that? And films like oh, It's a Wonderful Life that have changed people's wonderful lives, have made people's miserable lives into wonderful lives. Just because of the magic of movies and how Frank Capra is able to get in there and grab your heart and squeeze it. 